Claudia with Crazy Island Studios. Welcome to another edition of Freedom Journal Friday. Um, I started to record this yesterday and what I did didn't work out so I just sewed over it and now I'm in a huge rush to try and get this done, edited and out to you guys so it's probably going to be a quick one um, plus things are just crazy so it, it, it's just crazy. So anyways I just sewed over the mess that I made yesterday and weird this pink came through and it's not dilutions it's uh the dina wakely media paints the pink one i don't know but it doesn't matter so i pulled out a couple of um, dictionary pages from my stash of stuff that i brought with me and i have some other random papers i might grab some of those and glue those down so because i don't know what i'm doing i'm just starting with collage and getting some stuff down in the background. So I'll be applying that more than likely with just matte medium because these papers are thin enough to work fine with matte medium. And I will probably speed through this part and then I'll come back and I'll talk to you guys about whatever it is that I'm going to be doing next just so that it's not super, super boring. And I'll try and tell you guys a little bit about the craziness that's happening in my world right now a little bit later. So I got this all closed down and relatively dry. I'm going to use this stencil, um, which is from the Crafters Workshop. And it's text with the black dilution spray because I want to go over the top of this with gesso. And I know the dilution spray comes up through gesso, so I thought it'd be really cool. do that and I want to just because none of this <laughs> because dilutions is water soluble I want to put a towel behind it just because even if it sprays over and then I touch something later it's not it won't dry and then it'll get all over everything so let me just test this okay. I always spray my sprays in the trash can once to make sure that I have a good spray pattern and I'm not gonna make just blobs everywhere although my page isn't laying flat so we'll see how this goes It's just going to make a mess. Oh no, it's not too bad. I wasn't sure what it would do because, and I'm not trying to go for anything legible anyways, I wasn't sure how it would behave considering the fact that my page is so not straight. Okay, I love that. I am going to get this dry, clean my stencil, be right back. Okay, so my dilutions are dry sprays and my everything is dry so I'm going to put a thin layer of gesso and a few drips of teal to tint the gesso and I'm going to use a pretty wet brush to do that because I want it to be kind of thin and translucent so you can see some of the under collage peeking through so I'm just barely blotting off my brush so it's still pretty wet I have to do this kind of quick um, just because the dilutions does want to spread and I don't want it to just make the whole page gray. So I'll work quickly and I told you guys I would, and, and it looks worse than it is I promise whenever <laughs> it's all said and done. It always looks crazy and then it gets better. Um, I was told you I was going to talk to you guys a little bit about all the craziness that's happening in my world. The fact of the matter is, is that we're moving like next month and it's suddenly necessary <laughs> to go quickly so things are just kind of crazy and I'm you know trying to get a lot of stuff done before it's time to go my husband's coming home next month and or no late this month so it's just oh it's just there's just a lot to do <laughs> house is an escrow yay um I might want to wipe off a lot of this let's see if I just wiped off all it did it just wiped off all of my dilutions how disappointing Usually, when I do this, I can still see the sprayed um, stenciled item through 
the gesso. I'm just really surprised that it just wiped right off all of my dilutions. Hmm. Well, I guess we'll be going another route, won't we? Flexibility. Flexibility in art, folks. Yeah, this was a surprise. I've done this lots of times where I've sprayed dilutions through a stencil and then applied gesso, and the stenciled image is still there, and it doesn't disappear, and it sure as heck doesn't do that. I mean, usually it looks pretty crazy, and then it comes back. I don't know. I'm not going to presume to know what happened or why. I don't have time for that, but I am going to get my stencil back and spray it again. Okay, let's give this all another try. Okay, good enough. Okay, I'm going to clean up again, let this all dry, be right back. Okay, I lied. I'm not going to dry this. I blotted it with a paper towel to absorb most of the dilutions. And then I was just thinking, if what I did already, like, caught, oh, dragging dilutions through everywhere. Um, if what I did already caused my letters to disappear whenever I apply paint over it, I feel like I need to be cautious about my spray. So I'm going to spray it. And I know I'm talking while I'm moving everything and cleaning, I'm sorry. I have a bottle with airbrush medium in it, and I'm just going to spray over this um, lettering with the airbrush medium, hopefully, uh, if it will spray properly, and hope that it doesn't make everything smudge too horribly. It's making it smudge horribly. This is one fail after another, folks. <laughs> If you wondered how some of my pages come out really great, just know that some of them do this kind of crap too. It, it is a fact of life. Yeah. So, what's the trick here? Because I don't know. I'm not loving that at all. I think something different needs to be done. See, I was trying so hard to go the dilution route. And now I'm just mad at it, so hold on. Okay, so I'm just frustrated. Do you ever find that whenever you just got shit going on in your life, you just end up with shit happening in your art? That is me. It's just how it happens sometimes. I don't necessarily love it, but there it is. Um, yeah. I could conceivably paint a layer of matte medium onto the page and then spray into that which will help seal the dilutions, but I don't want to lay my stencil into the matte medium. So, I've decided that I don't I don't care about this stupid lettering right now. <laughs> I just don't want to mess with it. I have some dioxazine purple, which is a really dark purple. I'm going to get it really wet, and I'm just going to make some drips because drips make me happy and I still don't know what I'm doing with this page, so I might as well I might as well just drip paint, right? Makes sense to me. So lots of water mixed into the paint, and I think I want to drip from the top down. Yeah, that's what I want to do. better now. <laughs> I got all silent, didn't I? Frustration. Oh, sorry. Camera kicking. Okay. Frustration. I get quiet. Okay, so, well, that just makes me feel better, because who can, I, who can be... Molly. Molly, shh. Who can be sad when there's fluorescent pink drips on their journal page, right? Okay, so I'm going to get this dry. It's going to take a little while, because those, uh... Oh, I use the High Flow Golden High Flow Acrylics in the fluorescent pink because it's my favorite. And they take a little while to dry, so I will be back in a few. Okay, so while that journal page was drying, and um, it drew, it drew, it dried pretty quickly considering it's like 
humid beyond humid in my house because I have the swamp cooler going and it's like 90 in here. I'm so hot. It's miserable. Feel bad for me. Anyways, while I was waiting, I ripped out these heart shapes from some more journal journal dictionary pages. I apparently, my brain am, does not work today. I apologize. So I want to glue these down and all my brushes are gross because I have not been really rinsing them. Just been chunking them in water. I want to do with this so I'm going to get it dry you saw that I put that matte medium over the entire page that's because I use golden fluid acrylics on the purple and the uh, fluorescent and especially um, in these high flows it's very glossy and you don't have to water them down so they don't even like it doesn't like tone down the glossiness with the water so I wanted to apply that matte medium over the top so everything kind of doesn't just shine through all the rest of it. So let me get this dry and then we'll figure out what else I'm gonna do. Okay, I think I wanna do the heart in a heavy body acrylic just so that I can get some little bit of texture thickness coverage and I'm going to use permanent magenta for a dark pink and this opera rose which is a super bright, vibrant pink. So now those have to dry again and then I'll figure out what I'm doing next too. Okay, so I want to doodle around, this one's like shaking right and this one, I'm wondering did I just not have BBs or am I just not getting this shook up? So I'm going to go around them. Um, lots of folks ask me about these bottles. These are just fine liner bottles. These happen to be the 18 gauge. They come in the smaller 20 gauge too are also and I really like them they um, the cap has this little wire inside of it that goes down inside of the needle tip of the bottle so that it doesn't clog which I think is awesome and is really nice I don't know that the pinks gonna show up very much but that's okay I'm going to try it and then put the white over it anyways about the fine line bottles, I usually buy mine on Amazon and everybody's always asking me about stuff that I buy and where I get it and all that stuff. So I just found out from Gina that you can make your own Amazon store. So I did. And now if I'll put the link down below in the description box. So now if it's something that I order on Amazon, you can find it really easy in my store under my favorite art products or art supplies. Isn't that awesome? I'm super excited about it because I'm always like find myself posting links to the stuff that I buy on Amazon in my comments. Well this way you can just go find all the stuff that I use all the time that I buy there and it's all easy to find and I just I just thought it was kind of a cool idea. So I hope you guys like it. I hope you guys check it out or if you're looking for what kind of stuff I buy you could go find it there. And it'll make it easier for you to find the things that I that I order because I order a ton of stuff from Amazon. If I can find it on there most of the time I buy it there. So all the stuff in my favorite things list on my Amazon store are things that I use all the time or that I regularly buy on Amazon like my journals and my fine liners and I got my Posca pens there recently so. Um, so I'm adding the white which is really just mixing. I don't know how much I love that. I may add it again. I may dry this or blot it because I don't have the patience to dry it. It's so hot. I don't want to dry anything. Like seriously. Because <laughs> I have to run the heat gun. And it's already like a thousand degrees in my house. So not loving the idea of drying anything. 
Um, okay, so maybe that'll allow... I think I'm going to have to get this a little bit more dry so I can add more white uh, without it mixing with the pink. So I guess I'm going to have to suck it up and use the heat gun. And yay, fun for me. I'll be right back as soon as it's dry and I'll put some more white paint on it. Okay, I think it's dry enough to do some more doodling. I just want you to be able to I just want to be able to see the doodling a little bit better. Oh, that's better. That is much better. Okay. And now the most important part, the dripping. I just feel like there were too many drips, so I'm getting rid of a few of them so that it doesn't look quite so crazy crazy. Okay, this has to just have its moment. I'm going to at least get a skin on it so I can work around it without totally ruining it. And then I don't know what we're doing next, so we'll figure that out too. I'll be right back. Okay, so this is pretty dry, and I'm going to use another um, fine line bottle with black paint in it to write a couple of words that are a little bit um, applicable to right now, me, like what I need. I need, I need things to just chill out a little bit. That's what I need. Things are a little bit hectic and crazy. And I know I was talking to you guys about, you know, all of the stuff that's going on, but I also have work that all needs to be done. I have no idea what my internet situation is going to be like on the islands. So I have to make sure that I get stuff done for you guys ahead of time. So things are just really, really kind of crazy for me right now. So I'm referencing words that represent how I just need to feel in this moment. I wish I had done that better. I'm going to redo this one. Joys of acrylic, folks. Wipe it off. It'll be okay. I forgot for a moment that I find it a lot easier to write with these if I hold it a little bit more sideways instead of vertical. Alright, that's going to take a minute to dry again, and I swear that's all I'm doing today is waiting for stuff to dry, but I guess that's the way of it. I can't get my cap back on. Okay, so this needs to dry before I do anything else, and I think what I want to do next is apply some modeling paste through some stencils, maybe even just in white, to kind of tone down the background and bring the focus into the front. So let me think about it. Get this dry. Be right back. Okay, so we're pretty dry and I've gotten out some modeling paste and I'm adding some paint to it. I'm starting with a little bit of white just because I want it to have a, you know, paint in it. Um, and I'm thinking maybe like a light pink could be really pretty through a stencil on here. Just really pale pink though. I don't want it to be too much. So I'm going to drip my paint on the side so I can take just a tiny bit of it at a time so that I get a really nice soft pink. So I want it to be very close to the white, but just slightly tinted. And as you can see, a whole drop would have been way too much. I'm hoping that's enough modeling paste for what I want to do. It's pretty. Um, okay, so I grabbed a few just texture stencils and I want to put them in random places. I'm going to try and start towards the center of the page and work my way out so that I don't have to lay the stencil over top of parts that are already done. At least that's my intent. And I want some of this coming over this heart in this little one. Okay, yeah, a 
lot of control, ain't I? Okay, so that's better. Mmm, kind of like it. Okay, I am going to dry this for the most part, wash my stencils, and then I'll be right back, see what we're going to do. Okay, this is not dry at all. I haven't dried it at all. I did go back and write over the piece in white because I thought that it would stand out better. Um, Calm has too much white around it, so that's not going to work for that. I want to do a little bit of a black edging, but I want to apply it with my finger for a couple of reasons. Oh, excuse me. I'm grabbing my guard paper here. Uh, for starters, this is still wet, so I can't mess with it too much. Secondly, uh, I need to have a little bit of control in keeping it where I want it to go. And I don't want to go over the edges of the chunky stuff with like an ink pad, you know, or something. So I figured it'd just be just as good to do this with my hands. Try not to mess up all my hard-earned work. I have a half wet, half dry baby wipe here to assist me in smudging it out if I need to wipe off a little bit. So that's what I'm using here. Yeah, it needs that little bit around the edge. So I'm about done with this. I think this is going to be the final step. I hope you guys like the page. Um, it was a bit of a challenge for me, partly just because I'm so super uncomfortable right now. I, I'm sorry to be such a whiny baby, but it is unbelievably hot and it's miserable and <laughs> yeah, it's not any fun. Um, I don't love Fresno summers. I, I have it and it gets worse every year, so I'm really happy to be leaving. <laughs> Sad, but I am. Um, I know, I just like it went a little crazy and all over the place, and that's kind of just how things seem to be going in this journal lately, or in general, so I'm just being okay with that. It's a freedom journal, right? So we might as well make a mess and have fun with it. I hope you guys like at least parts of the page, if not all of the page. I call that done. I think it looks pretty kind of okay. <laughs> I had fun, if nothing else, except for when I was frustrated, which is never fun, but what are you going to do? You have to get through things and get past them and move on, and hopefully you learned a little bit of something. Um, if you're interested in any of the products that I ordered from Amazon and you're looking for those same products, be sure to check that out on the um, link down below so you can find my list. Otherwise. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this week's Freedom Journal Friday page. I'll see you guys all again, hopefully next Friday. I have to ask you guys to bear with me a little bit as I'm getting into this move. If I miss a week, I am sorry. I am working really hard to try and get other things done ahead of time so that I have time to do this stuff uh, and make my videos on my regular basis, even though it's going to be hectic and crazy. So just bear with me if you don't see me or I'm late or whatever happens. Keep commenting. I will keep answering you. I love answering your questions. I really do love talking to you guys, so I love hearing your comments and I are reading your comments and replying to them. So that's it. I am going to get my behind off to editing this video so you guys will have, will have actually seen it on a Friday. And I'll see you guys all very soon. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.